The war in Ukraine has rewritten the rules of modern warfare. From off-the-shelf commercial drones modified to carry grenades, to kamikaze UAVs that cost less than $1,000. These airborne threats are reshaping global battlefields. Russia and Ukraine are in a drone arms race, and the lessons are clear. He who controls the skies controls the war. Now across the world in the Indo-Pacific, another flashpoint is brewing. And the Philippines, right at the heart of it, is learning fast. To counter the threat of drone swarms and future aerial attacks, the U.S. has just deployed one of its most advanced directed energy weapons, the Leonidas High Power Microwave System. Let's break it down. But what does this mean for the Philippines? And how powerful is this weapon, really? Developed by Ipirus Incorporated, the Leonidas system is not your typical missile or gun. It's an electromagnetic pulse weapon, essentially a directed energy system that uses focused microwave bursts to disable drones in mid-air. Unlike jamming systems, which interfere with signals, Leonidas fries the internal electronics of enemy drones. That means it doesn't matter if a drone is autonomous, GPS-guided, or radio-controlled. Leonidas can neutralize it in a flash. It's silent, lightning fast, and cost effective, firing invisible microwave pulses with pinpoint accuracy. So, why is Leonidas being deployed in the Philippines? Simple China. The South China Sea is crawling with potential threats from PLA Navy ships to long-range drones capable of surveillance or even strike missions. The Philippine military is under-equipped to counter drone swarms, which could one day flood the skies over contested islands like Pagasa or Bajo de Masinloc. That's why the U.S. is now stationing Leonidas systems at key Philippine military bases under the Enhanced Defense Cooperation Agreement, or EDCA. These aren't just symbolic deployments. They're part of a layered defense network, giving the Philippines and the U.S. a crucial edge in neutralizing drone threats before they reach targets. Let's take a closer look at the advantages and limitations of Leonidas. Pros, instantaneous response can shoot down multiple drones at once. Low cost per shot, no missiles to reload, just energy, no collateral damage, perfect for urban or civilian heavy areas. Scalable, can protect mobile units, bases, or even ships in the future. While cons is line of sight, obstacles can block the microwave beam. Power hungry, requires a lot of energy, limiting mobility. Weather sensitive, Heavy rain or dense fog could reduce effectiveness. Short range, it's best for close range swarm defense, not long distance threats. So while Leonidas is a game changer, it's not a silver bullet. It must work in tandem with radar systems, kinetic weapons, and traditional air defense. For the Philippines, this is more than just an American tech demo. It's a preview of what's possible if the AFP invests in high-tech asymmetric defenses. Drones are cheap, abundant, and hard to detect. If Beijing floods Philippine airspace with small kamikaze UAVs or surveillance drones, traditional air defense may not react fast enough. Leonidas offers a non-kinetic, scalable layer of defense perfect for archipelagic environments like Palawan or Zambales. And more importantly, it inspires a path forward. If the Philippines moves to acquire or co-develop systems like Leonidas, it could boost its base defense capabilities, protect maritime outposts, train local personnel in next-gen warfare, 
In a future where swarms could be the first wave of attack, the ability to shut them down in seconds is priceless. This deployment is also part of a wider strategy. The U.S. is ramping up advanced weapons in the Indo-Pacific, hypersonics, missile defenses, AI integrated systems, and now directed energy. By allowing the U.S. to test Leonidas on its soil, the Philippines becomes part of a larger defense tech ecosystem. It gains early access to next-gen tech, joint training, and possibly even defense R&D opportunities. Could the Philippines develop its own version of Leonidas one day? With the right investment and strategic defense bonds, it's not impossible. China has every reason to be concerned about the deployment of the Leonidas High Power Microwave System in the Philippines. This game-changing weapon doesn't just defend against drones. It neutralizes entire swarms instantly, rendering one of China's most cost-effective military advantages useless. With Leonidas on Philippine soil, the balance of power in the South China Sea subtly shifts, signaling that the U.S. and its allies are now prepared to counter asymmetric threats with cutting-edge tech. For China, this means its drone strategy is no longer unchecked, and its intimidation tactics face a powerful, invisible shield. In the skies of Ukraine, drones are rewriting history. In the South China Sea, they might start the next chapter. But with Leonidas now deployed in the Philippines, the battle for aerial supremacy just got more interesting. Drone swarms beware, there's a new sheriff in town. What do you think? Should the Philippines invest in its own directed energy weapons? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more in Defense Forces Insight. If you want to watch a video informative like this, click any of the two videos that will appear before this video ends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like our video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.